My wife and I would like, would like to thank every single one of you here for braving the cold uh, to, to get here and celebrate with us today. I, Peter. I, Peter. Take you, Bryony. Take you, Bryony. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. I make this vow. I make this vow. I, Bryony. I, Bryony. Take you, Peter. Take you, Peter. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. I make this vow. I make this vow. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Peter and Bryony have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. Ladies and gentlemen, I therefore now proclaim that they are husband and wife. Yeah, kiss. You may kiss the bride. Peter, we officially welcome you as one of the lucky ones. You've got one of the best people I know by your side. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm certain that you've found in each other true life partners. It's been wonderful to get to know you together, especially in recent months as you've welcomed me down to London and made the transition so much fun and so much less intimidating for me. You're my favourite couple to third wheel. I swear one day I will beat you at Scrabble if you stop trying to cheat. <laughs> And when I do, Brian and I are going to make you watch all of the Twilight films with us. <laughs> I'll finish this with one last memory. So Brian and I used to get home from school and we immediately would log on to Tumblr or Facebook and carry on messaging each other and sharing stupid photos and gossiping until the wee hours of the morning. When it turns to midnight on Facebook Messenger, it always comes up with a new line in the chat saying today to start the new chat. So we'd always send each other today as our little tradition to acknowledge how long we'd been talking for. 
As of midnight tonight, when no, dan no doubt we'll still be dancing, it'll be your first today as a newly married couple. I know I speak for everyone here when we are uh, to say that we're all so happy that we could share this with you and that we wish you all the happiness in the world with your lives together. So if you'd like to join me in raising your glasses to the newlyweds and all of their todays to come. I've known Peter for a long, long time and we've been there for each other through great times and bad times. We've seen each other through school, university and now major life events and we've maintained our friendship over 500 miles. Um, and that's a testament to the thoughtfulness and loyalty that you get with Peter. I was around when the name Bryony first appeared. It would be a name that me and Peter's friends could never forget. And that's mainly because he wouldn't shut up about it. <laughs> Initially, the chase went on for a while as Peter struggled to convince her that she should give him a shot. Two times now, I've actually really heard. Um, maybe it's because of Peter's part-time job as a Boris Johnson lookalike that put her off. He pined and whined for what felt like an age, making us all wonder if Peter was barking up the wrong tree. However, the eagle finally landed and the rest is history. I'm very fortunate to find a partner I have so much in common with in terms of our interests, our outlook on life, our aspirations for the future. Ultimately though, when you choose a life partner, you're choosing your eating companion for about 20,000 meals, your travel companion for 100 holidays, your career therapist, your retirement friend, and someone whose day you'll hear about 18,000 times. And there's no one, no one I'd rather that be than Brining. So without further ado, if you could all raise your glasses and toast my wonderful, beautiful, fantastic wife, Bryony.